about to hit y'all with that vlog slash unboxing slash nipple sticker video. Let's get it. I just wanna free my titties. They just wanna be free. She's looking for a bag. Photography is an expensive project. <laughs> it is. Hey, you wanna take a, the label? Get the label, the number. Take a photo, maybe. Oh, I'm doing video. Oh, video. Okay. I think I'm gonna choose this one. Okay. Hi. How you doing? Good. Have a great night. I gotta go this way and something, something, something. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, she said right here. She said go right there. Look at this. for a backpack and these two little screws for like... And yeah, they are extra. This thing? Yeah. And they're walling. <laughs> oh my god, see this piece guys? I'm missing something at the bottom, went to B&H to go get it. And I also got a backpack. With these, I can finally put this back on this. And now I'm going to start using my um, regular camera again. Okay, and we're back with the regular cam. So in case you guys ever get this little thing that belongs in here missing, get this get this get two because just in case you're drunk or something and you lose one then you'll have another one and then you could always go back if you lose both of them yeah go to bnh because all these other freaking photo stores act like they don't know what the f i'm talking about when i'm talking about like getting a a thread for this tripod so it's lit we're back in action right now <laughs> It's in. You could also use a coin to like screw that in place or your fingers. Either way, it'll be lit. It is officially lit. Hey, back to real high def. So today's video, like I said, is going to be like a, a freaking hybrid unboxing slash vlog slash nipple sticker thing. I'm just going to see how this goes like this whole youtube channel is an experiment anyway <laughs> This new bag should hold up for a while. It's like the most expensive bag I've ever brought or bought. And I didn't even uh, pay that much money compared to like the other bags. But I really like that it wasn't that big. And that's like some weather, rain, whatever proof. I really like that part. Before I take any of those tags off of the new bag, the one thing we had to check was if my laptop could fit in there. I'm about to find that out right now. <laughs> it closed. It took a little a little extra effort, but look at it. Can you see that? These are the zippers and they are closed. Good job. But I feel like that might be a problem because it's like really sticking out right here. Can't really see it. But yeah, well, I'll figure out. I'll see what happens. I think I'm good. I really like this bag. I don't know why I'm attached to it already. But we'll see how this goes. Oh my gosh. I probably should return this backpack because it's kind of weird to take the laptop out and it shouldn't be hard, but uh Have you guys ever been to B and H? It's like a maze to like get your stuff and the return things and blah blah blah. Like it's a lit store but it's too much going on in there. I've kind of been slacking with the videos because I don't know, I I'm not tired of making them and 
I just, I need, is it, are my eyes open? Do they look like they're open? I'm not, I'm not high or anything. I guess my eyes are just low. I'm just going to be doing shoots, working on videos, and, you know, getting my life together so I can move, possibly, most likely. I need that to happen. I need to get out of Staten Island. It'd be so lit to get out of Staten Island. Let's talk about the nipple sticker part of this, which is, are they necessary? For me, they are not necessary. As in, like, I don't think women should have to wear nipple stickers outside while men just, just go outside like it's nothing. I know people have, like, a... A stereotype or um, a double standard but those people don't really matter because I mean for one those are the people that that probably don't want to wear it so you don't really have to do something you don't want to do but that doesn't mean everybody else shouldn't be able to do it just because you don't want to do it like I never understood that like with the whole like marriage thing for like gays and lesbians it's just I don't get it like let people do what they want to do why are you worried about what somebody else is doing if they're not doing it to you and no one's getting hurt and whatever you know that's just me like I don't think they're necessary you guys do you guys think they're necessary like do you is it because like you don't want to see a certain thing you don't want children to see it Children are going to see it anyway, like they're going to grow up or they're going to watch something on TV when you're not there watching them 24-7 seeing what they're doing or on like the internet basically. Yeah, that's more likely that they'll find some new woman on the internet more than on TV. Like you can't regulate everything. Like it's not going to work, but it's been working when it comes to regulating women's bodies because... I don't know if we're on like a pedestal or something, which isn't right. It'll never be right. And I hope we can change things. Like, I don't understand. Like, we are in 2017. We're, we don't need to go backwards. We went backwards when we had Trump elected as president. Like, I really still don't understand that. But anyway, so back to are they necessary? No, I don't think they, they are necessary. For me, I like wearing them because I like wearing them. I'd rather not have like my bare titties out. I've only done that once. That night was pretty lit. <laughs> someone, um, someone cool. Well, I guess that person's still cool. <laughs> Convinced me to um, do that. It was really, it was really fun. I've done it before where I was like bare, but I was like indoors, and I didn't even realize like how many people were looking. It's so funny. We were just like dancing, and no shirts on whatsoever, no bras on. So funny. <laughs> and it was actually kind of creepy. Like when we like stopped dancing, it was just like wait, these people are just sitting here, watching us. It was kind of weird, but we we were turned at that point. So I guess that it started getting more weird as I thought about it the next day. But anyway, yeah, I feel sorry for people in California and other states where they have to cover up their nipples instead of like the whole boob. That's I mean, yeah, like that's that's effed up. Like New York, we don't have to do that. We we can be out and about. And people don't realize that that law was passed in, like, 92, I think. So that's, like, well over 25 years, or it's about to be. Like, let's just let people live. They want to have no shirt on and be topless. That's their choice, not your choice. It shouldn't be anyone else's choice. So I think that's where I'm going to end. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Sorry if this is kind of weird because it was like an unboxing, vloggy type video. But yeah, I'm trying things out. Litty titty out.